The signing of five agreements culminated a day full of official activities for the Prime Minister and her delegation. The work of much planning and careful consideration of the areas of cooperation that will, in tangible ways, strengthen the relations between India and Trinidad and Tobago. We hope that cooperation in the health sector, especially in traditional medicine, will receive a big push through the two memoranda of understanding that have just been signed. Strong cultural and educational links between our two countries provide the foundations for our relationship. I do believe that our partnership together, India and Trinidad and Tobago, will redound to the benefit of the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago and the wider CARICOM region. Perhaps a fitting finale to a cold January morning where ceremony and tradition ushered a new dawn for the two Commonwealth nations whose leaders embraced each other in warmth and good friendship. From the sacred salute in sheltered accommodation to a stately inspection of a guard of honor and reciprocal introductions of ministers resulting in good humor from the Indian media when the host Prime Minister greeted two Trinvagonian cricket legends. It obviously amused the dignitaries and added stimulus to the expression of thanks by the visiting Prime Minister who said she is humbled by the great honor India has placed on the people of Trinidad and Tobago, inspiring not just a tingle but a tremendous joy in her heart. It is personally very humbling to me and exceedingly joyful. So no tingling, actually joy. <laughs> it is not the first time that these flags are fluttering together at Rastrapati Bhawan. But today of special significance, they welcome the diaspora's first female prime minister. Then it was after Rajkhat where she paid homage to the father of the Indian nation, Mahatma Gandhi, she then paid a courtesy call on President Pratibha Patil. The red carpet treatment, the early deliverables, the warmth of the Indian people, all signify a redefining moment in the 167-year history of India and Trinidad and Tobago, eloquently summed up by Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. This visit of the Prime Minister is also a very sentimental location. Early Saturday morning, the Prime Minister heads for Jaipur, where she will be the chief guest at the 10th Diaspora Conference, known as the Pravasi Bharatiya Divas. From New Delhi, India, this is Gideon Hanuman Singh reporting.